when we have abdominal discomfort and cramps, whether that's caused by indigestion, Crohn's disease, a multitude of conditions, it is important to take some time to take care of ourselves. There are several yoga postures as well as breath work and meditation that can help with pain and discomfort management. And I would like to share some of them with you today. Welcome, I'm Laya. All you'll need for this practice are two blocks, a yoga mat and a blanket if you have them, but you can also do the practice without any of these things. We'll start in child's pose. So perhaps you bring your big toes together and your knees apart, and you could bring your blanket between your sitting bones and your heels if you want to, just to give a little bit of support. And then your forehead could land on your block or perhaps on the ground, and your arms can go back by your feet or perhaps extend them forward, allowing the palms to ground toward the earth. And just take a moment to make space for your abdomen. So perhaps that means you separate your knees a little bit more. You may even wanna move the flesh in a way that you can get a little bit more comfortable here. And of course, if the shape is uncomfortable for you today, feel free to come lay down on your back and hug your knees toward your chest instead. Wherever you are, take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your nose or your mouth. Inhale, expanding into the back body. Exhale, soften toward the earth. One more, breathe in. Breathe out. Give yourself a moment how you to notice how you feel in your physical body. Perhaps you become aware of discomfort and pain and tightness. Let's see if you can let yourself also notice anywhere where maybe there's a little bit of spaciousness or relaxation. Breathe in through your nose becoming a little more expansive. Breathe out through your nose or your mouth, softening and letting yourself go even if it's 1% more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. your next inhalation start to press yourself up lifting your forehead off of the block or the floor and walking your hands toward you just a little bit maybe you move your blanket out of the way and give yourself a moment to come to a tabletop coming into hands and knees and just notice how you feel in this pose maybe you move your hips a little side to side Finding a little bit of mobility through the spine here. Inhale. Exhale. Notice if you're tightening through your abdomen. Let yourself soften the belly a bit more. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhalation, send your right leg behind you for a moment. Feel free to keep the toes on the floor or lift them up and then draw your right knee toward your right wrist. Bring your shin diagonally in front of your left leg and begin to extend your left leg back. Here's a great place to roll your blanket and slide it under your right hip so then you find a little bit more height and support. And you can bring one or two of your blocks in front of you. And take your hands to your blocks or the floor and keep your chest lifted. And that may bring a deeper stretch on the front of your left hip. If you wanted to take a more gentle approach, you can let yourself come down to your elbows. And your forehead may eventually rest on your blocks or maybe it finds the floor. Where can you soften here? Observe any tension that arises 
maybe involuntarily. And allow the inhale and the exhale to keep you present, to allow you to choose where you put your attention. More breath. Now on your next inhalation, slowly bring yourself up. Move whatever props you may have under your right hip to the side, and then start to surrender your right hip to the floor. Turn toward the long side of the mat so your right foot starts to come into the center and your left leg extends to the side. Now it can be all the way stretched, but I would invite you to sit on your blanket so you elevate your hips a little. And then from here, consider you on your knee bent so that also allows your spine to grow a little bit longer. You could bring one of your blocks underneath your knee. And then perhaps you bring the other block to the inside of your left leg. And you can choose whatever height works for you. Take your left arm over the block or over your left leg. And on your inhalation, reach your right arm up and start to slide toward the left. You don't have to go very far. Draw your left rib cage forward, your right rib cage back. Maybe take your gaze up, breathe in. And as you breathe out, your right hand may land behind your head. Continue to draw your right shoulder open. Couple more breaths here. Last one, inhale. Now an exhale. Bring yourself back up. Feel free to use your blocks here and take them toward your right knee. Inhale to lengthen your spine, hands to the floor or to the blocks, it depends on the length of your arms. And then on your exhalation, let yourself twist toward the bent knee, toward the right side. Again, you don't have to go very far, but anchor yourself onto the left heel and create the twist from the base of your body. Noticing the space you can create as your spine is grounded yet spirals upward. One more breath, inhale, and on your exhalation, bring yourself back to center and return to your tabletop position, giving yourself a moment for gentle movement side to side or a couple of circles, realigning with your breath, breathe in and breathe out. Send your left leg behind you as you inhale Exhale, left knee to your left wrist. Bring your shin in front of you diagonally. Start to extend through your right leg and bring support under your left hip with maybe a block or your blanket, lengthening through your spine, taking a moment to notice how you feel here. And perhaps this is where the sensation allows you to settle in most. Or maybe you wanna ground yourself closer to the earth and you let the elbows find the floor or your blocks. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Whether you went down or not, Lengthen through your spine, take a deep breath in, and on your exhalation, move the props out of the way, surrender your left hip to the floor, and rotate toward the long side of the mat, this time extending your right leg and bending your left knee to the side. Maybe you sit on your blanket, hands can be in front of you, you could use your blocks if you want to, but then take your right arm to your right leg, inhale, take your left arm up. And on your exhalation, lean toward the right as little or as much as you want. And perhaps let your left hand rest behind your head. Breathe. Let your belly expand, softening the muscles. And then on your next inhalation, slowly bring yourself back up. 
hands can rest framing your left knee on the floor or the blocks and then let yourself rotate toward the left side as much as you want to continuing to anchor the right leg and the right hip down One more breath here, inhale, and exhale. Come back to the center, lean back a little bit, feel free to stay seated on your blanket or move it to the sides, and then bring your feet in front of you as narrow as a, or as wide as you want, and give yourself a little hug, surrendering your head down and letting yourself sway from one side to the other, connecting to gentleness, to soothing, Breathe in and breathe out. Lift yourself back up. Bring the soles of your feet toward one another. They could touch or not. That's up to you. And draw your knees out to the sides. It's also up to you if you bring the soles of the feet closer or if you allow them to stay a little further in front. It will just create different sensations on the hips. You could also bring your blocks underneath your knees and that will allow your hips to surrender a bit more. Inhale to lengthen and on your exhale, fold. You could also bring your blocks in front of you at whatever height you want so that you can let your forehead rest. Breathe. Where can you soften a bit more, especially in the lower body? And then on your next inhalation, slowly rise back up. Draw your knees toward one another. Let yourself curl toward yourself. Give yourself a hug. Breathe in and breathe out. From here, come to lie down, keeping your props near you if you know you may want to use them. And then bring your feet a little bit wider than your knee, or your feet a little bit wider than your hips, maybe as wide as your mat. And then for a moment, just let your knees kind of windshield wiper from side to side. There's no need to take them all the way down to the floor. But see if you can let your breath and the movement kind of harmonize with one another. One more on each side. And then slowly pausing at the center. Lift your feet off the floor, give yourself a little hug. And maybe you just lift your head up or you stay with your head down and your knees hugged in. Or maybe you take a couple of circles one way and then the other. From here, lower your feet to the floor. You could extend your legs out or you can bring one block on the outside of each knee and bring the soles of your feet together and once again, let your knees go wide, arms can rest on next to your body or perhaps onto your abdomen, gently inviting yourself to soften the belly even more. And just taking a few breaths here, softening the body toward the earth. Letting whatever it is just be. But knowing that everything has a cycle, that everything ebbs and flows, and that all you can do is breathe. Inhale deeply, and sigh out. Stretch yourself, roll to one side, and come up to a seat. Maybe you sit on one of your blocks or on your blanket, resting your hands on your knees or on your abdomen or one on the abdomen and one on the heart. Taking a moment of gratitude for your body, for your mind and for your life, for the opportunity that you have at every moment to make choices and to live authentically. 
breathe in, slide out. Open your eyes. I hope you've enjoyed this practice. Until we meet again, pause often, breathe deeply, and stay kind, especially to yourself. Take care.